Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming, where you can get reviews and guides for all types of games. And in today's video, we will be discussing a starting character guide for Durango Wildlands. We're going to explain all the classes that are available to choose, give you a little bit more insight than the game does when you start, and hopefully help you make a decision on who you're going to start with, right? So let's get into it, folks. Let's start off with the soldier, right? All right so right off the back, the soldier you'll notice has a plus 20 melee skill level when you start the game. Now the soldier class specializes in melee combat, but they also have the ability to master all types of weapon skills to hunt down the dinosaurs. There's tons of different melee weapons in this game. Uh, you have knives, one-handed, two-handed blades, one two-handed axes, blunt weapons, spears. So it's a good assortment. And to be honest with you, this is a class that a lot of people will start with because it helps you hunt down those monsters a lot easier in the beginning. And also, um, you know, offense is always a good strategy as well. But again, I'm not saying this is the best class because they're all pretty solid. And I hope that we're able to explain that to you guys in this video. Next, we're gonna go over to the attendant. So the attendant starts off with a bonus of plus 20 to tailoring skill level. Now the attendant specializes in crafting different armors and equipment. They can also make bags and pockets, which is really important when you're traveling because you can carry more items. Now, because of this skill, tailoring is gonna be very important, right? And you'll be able to make a lot of money in the game because you'll be able to craft all types of items and be able to sell it. So if you're looking for a class that will help you get an advantage in the sense that you'll always have extra coin, then this is a pretty good class to start with and eventually you know you'll be selling clothing and armors left and right next you have the engineer so the engineer starts off with a plus 20 to weapon crafting skill level obviously the engineers are really good at crafting weapons right but what's really cool about it is that they can create powerful bows and crossbows which are you know really really good to use in the game they can also make attachments for weapons when you upgrade them. So it's a really good profession to have. And also it can help you make a lot of in-game coin as well. Now we're going to head over to the farmer. All right, so now you have the farmer. You have plus 20 to farming skill level. The farmers are able to grow crops, right? And this goes really well with cooking. So they're able to cook different food recipes, which will provide you all types of buffs. So basically every clan in the game and this is probably more for like mid to late game, it's gonna need farmers, right? Because they're gonna give you that setup before you go hunting for the dinosaurs and those buffs are gonna really come in handy. All right, next you got the homemaker. So the homemaker starts off with a plus 20 to cooking skill level. They have the ability to make all types of foods and drinks. And those food buffs are very important if you're going into a battle. And again, like I said earlier, cooking goes really well with farming. All right, next you have uh, the job seeker. Now, the job seeker gets a plus 20 defense to skill level. The job seekers really start off with a major boost in defensive skills. And this is super important in leveling inside the game. The higher your defense skills, basically the longer you'll be able to survive in battles. And that's gonna be super important. All right, next you got office worker. Office worker gets a plus 20 to building skill level, right? Office workers are really good in building things like houses and fences. So if you want to basically have a good base or a domain, then you need to level up your building skills. Next, you have the student. The student will start with a plus 20 gathering skill level. Gathering is one of the most important skills in the game. It allows you to collect tons of things that you find as you level up in the game. Like I said earlier, a lot of people start with soldier because it gives you that advantage when you're hunting the dinosaurs. But if you don't want to be dying quickly or you don't want to walk around on eggshells, right? It'll be squishy. Then you might want to start with job seeker because of the defensive skills and the dinosaurs will do, you know, a lot less damage to you. But the other skills are very important as well. But then again, you know, the engineer is pretty solid, right? Because of the weapon crafting. The tenon is really good because of the tailoring, right? Being able to create armor and equipment is going to be super important. So like you see, every class has an impact in the game, especially as you progress 
further along, this is going to help you and your client tremendously. So folks, those are the classes explained. Um, I hope that these details, you know, give you a little bit more insight in making your decision and give you an understanding of what some of the skills do as well. So if you do appreciate this content, then definitely slap the like button and hit that subscribe button so you can get more reviews and guides for all types of games. All right. So again, thanks for all the support. Peace out.